Hi, how are you guys doing today? Have you ever heard of the low hanging fruit when it comes to weight loss? Essentially what it is, is a bad habit that you have that we can identify quickly and learn to work on that we can swap out for better, healthier choices without a ton of work involved. So one of three of the most common ones is irregular meal times. I am notorious for this. I am one of those people who will try to fit eating into other obligations that I have. And I don't know if it's just because of my work schedule that makes my entire life chaotic or what it is exactly, but I oftentimes will skip meals. Sometimes I don't eat at all until I get off of work, which is midnight, which is not good because I'm going to bed soon. I end up grabbing quick, like just easy things to eat, things that don't require a lot of cooking. Like yesterday, I didn't realize that I had any in the entire day. It was about 10 p.m. and I was like, I am starving right now. I need to eat right now. So what did I do? I found a bagel. I ate a bagel, I toasted it, put some cream cheese on it, and that's what I had for the entire day. That is not good. But it is something that I can identify and work more on so that it's not something that I'm constantly falling into the habit of. There's supposed to be a lot of studies out there. I have not seen any that I trust. I've looked for them. If you know of any, please feel free to forward it to me so that I can, you know, look into them. But there are a lot of studies that show eating more regularly, like two to three hours or three to four hours during the day, which to me sounds just like a lot of food, but that's neither here nor there helps you to stay more on track and helps you to be able to continue to make better and healthier choices throughout the day. I guess because you're not hungry. I don't know. But do you also have that same issue? Or are you a very, very a uh, structured eater where you know, you know, what time of day you're eating. When you get up, you, the first thing you do is, you know, uh, get up, brush your teeth, wash your face, whatever, eat. And then a couple of hours later, you're, you know, it's snack time or lunch time or what have you. I've never been like that. And I wondered how many people actually are. Another very common one is eating a lot of processed foods. I'm one of those just, again, because of my eating schedule, I just want something fast, easy, quick, and that is something that I am actively working on to try to avoid even having in the house to begin with so that it is not something that I constantly fall back on. And the third most common low hanging fruit is liquid calories. Basically you are drinking your caloric intake as opposed to eating them. When we drink them, we tend to consume more calories because it's fast and easy. Like, think about it. If you're gonna drink a milkshake, how easy it is to drink an entire milkshake as opposed to, you know, eating a big giant delicious salad. Don't get me wrong, not all salads are delicious, but there are a lot of them that are actually really good. I love my salad to have plenty of cucumbers. Oh my God, so many cucumbers. Black olives. Um, I've recently really, really discovered how much I like feta cheese. My biggest problem with salads is that I'm just not a big meat eater. Not that I don't eat meat, it's just, I don't know. I'd rather, I think the real problem is that I've always been this person who will skip an actual meal for a dessert in any situation, if given the choice. I, if I, if you give me, you know, an amazing looking piece of steak, baked potato, or, you know, a soup or something, I'm going to look at it. I'm going to think, yum, I might have a couple bites, but I will in a heartbeat skip that for a piece of cake or something else that is sweet. I'm just, uh, I'm just addicted to sugar. And I need to learn how to work through that. But if I was going to be able to take one of those low hanging fruits and swap it out for healthier, better options for myself, I wonder which would be the easiest for me to do. I think honestly, eliminate liquid calories, which I don't do a whole lot of 
anyways. So I don't know if that's cheating, <laughs> but I don't really eat, drink my calories. I mostly drink water. I love water. I love a good, good ice cold water with some lemon in it. Yum. But I even love just water by itself. I don't care if it's room temperature. I don't care what it is. I love water, but especially in ice cold water. Now, I do drink other things, you know, I will on occasion have, you know, a diet soda or a juice or, you know, very rare occasions, a smoothie, something like that. But I am now I don't know if this is going to make it more difficult or not, but I love I haven't had one in a really long time because they're just very expensive. <laughs> and I mean, very expensive. Don't tell anybody I said that. But I love a good protein shake. Now, um, I used to really love Premier Protein. Um, oh my gosh, their bananas and cream and strawberries and cream are so good. The thing is that I just stopped seeing them around as much and they just sort of um, all change the flavors and now I only see like a chocolate or vanilla option and I'm not a big fan of the same flavor over and over and over again. So if I were to buy like a box of 24, I would be burnt out by like number three or four. So I like to buy variety or at the very least two or three different options. And I'm not a vanilla drinker at all. So that's just not going to do. And I don't really like their chocolate flavor, but I do like the other flavors. Um, like they're again, banana and cream, strawberries and cream, their caramel is so good. It tastes like a, oh my gosh, it tastes like a, like a, with ice, it tastes like kind of like a, like an iced coffee. And I love to mix it with coffee and make a delicious protein coffee with it because they're so good. Hi, future Delilah here. I cannot believe that I forgot about my iced coffee addiction. What was I thinking when I said I don't drink my calories? I, what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I cannot, I, I cannot even fathom how I forgot about that. Okay, so now, uh, now I know what I could start working on. Um, I've recently seen, oh, I recently seen that they have a root beer float flavor and I'm dying to find it so I can try it. Like they have all these different like uh, limited edition ones that come out during certain seasons and I'm super excited to find them but they're very hard to find apparently because I've never seen them. But I'm looking at introducing those back into my diet because I do find that it is very difficult for me to get in enough protein. And with the amount of hair that I'm losing, my doctor does recommend that I severely increase the amount of protein that I'm taking in. And short of eating it, which I'm not doing, I'm just not. Like, I'm not going to pretend that, that that's something that I can just instantly do because it's not. It, it's something that I can slowly work on, but it's not something that is like going to be like that instant. Um, yeah. I've recently discovered that I can no longer snap. Whatever. But anyways, I think that happened after I got my surgeries in my hands. My, the muscles in my hands just don't work the way that they used to, including being able to snap. But is there... A protein shake or flavor that you absolutely love I'd love to hear your recommendations so that I can try them out because I desperately need to add protein in you know again yesterday all I ate was that bagel and cream cheese but it was a uh, cheddar cheese oh, no cheddar cheddar was it cheddar cheese I don't remember but it was cheese and jalapeno and it was really good but there was no protein at all I mean, maybe it had like a gram of protein. Uh, the cream cheese probably was where I got all the protein from, but whatever. So it is something that I'm really looking at introducing into my diet so that I have something to be able to say at the very least I got in, you know, with the premier proteins, I want to say that they're like 30 grams at least of protein per, you know, container. So at least if I can drink one of those and they're not bad on calories, they're like, like a hundred and maybe 200 calories. So introducing, you know, one or two of those a day into my diet would help me a lot. Well, I'm actively working on introducing actual solid food protein into my diet. So I'd love to know if any of those things are something that you struggle with and how 
you've been a, or maybe you have struggled with it and no longer do and how you were able to just like work on that. If there's something that you still are struggling with and you want to actively work on that is, do you have a plan? Do you have any ideas that we can do together so that we can work on this? But I'm super excited to hear all about your guys' week and your ups, your downs, your ins and your outs. You already know. I just want to give you some virtual hugs. And I just want to thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thank you so much for your likes. Your encouragement means the absolute world to me. And there are no words on earth that can thank you enough for how much you being there means to me. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.